to be talking about verbs. So I want you to think, what are verbs? Let me see if you can show me some examples. What does it look like to sit? What does it look to, what does it look like to look? What does it look like to read? What does it look like to dance? So friends, those, all of those are examples of verbs. Verbs are, do, are doing or action words like drive, let me get my pointer, drive, walk, talk, jump, run, swim, write, and read. Verbs are doing or action words. So let's discover more verbs. So your task is to name the verb you see before I say. I'm going to give you five seconds. So five four, three, two, one. What is the verb? Swim. What is the verb you see? Eat. What is the verb you see here? Text. I text your parents a link to YouTube. Name the verb you see. What a cute picture. So this one is seeing or chirp. Name the verb you see. Blow. I will blow a bubble. Catch a bubble. Okay, so let me move this a little bit so that you guys can see a little bit better. Okay. Um, so let's talk about a, little bit, a little bit about verb tense. So verbs change depending on which tense you are using. So sometimes we speak in the past tense, sometimes we speak in the present tense, and sometimes we speak in the future tense. So the past is something that already happened, the present is happening right now, and in the future is something that will happen later. So whenever we are writing verbs we add that are in the past, we add ed. When we are using a verb in the present, we just leave it as is. And when we're going, when we speak in the future tense, we use the word will. For example, with the word talk. Yesterday, oh no, let me wait for this to come off. Yesterday, I talked to her. So I added ed to the end of talked. That makes them, it sounds the best. I don't say yesterday, I talked to her. That sounds so weird. We have to say yesterday, I talked to her. Um, for the present, if I'm speaking in the present tense, I would say, I talk to her. I talk to her. And you could also say, I am talking to her. That also is present tense. And for the future, it's something that will happen later. You add the word will in front. So you say, tomorrow I will talk to her. So honestly, I don't think this is difficult for you because you guys all do a great job when speaking. So it's just a matter of noticing that you're doing it and when you're writing it, making sure you add the ed for past or adding the word will in front of the verb for the future. So you have a task. It says tell if the sentences are in the past, present, or future tense. Read all five sentences before checking for the answer. So let's go ahead and read them and then we'll go back one on uh, one by one to see if it was if it's the past present and future number one read it with me yesterday we visited the market number two tomorrow mom will bake a cake number three she respects her teacher four we picked up trash five the kids will sing tomorrow so let's go ahead and check so number one, it says, to, uh, yesterday we, let me get my pointer, yesterday we visited the market. What is the action? What is the action that happened in the sentence? The action is the word visit. So they went somewhere, they visited. Oh, how nice. Okay, so let's notice, do you notice anything about this word? Yes, it has an ed, so remember, ED is when we are using a verb in past tense. So this is a, this sentence happened in the past. Number two, tomorrow mom will bake a cake. What is the verb? What is the action word for this sentence? Tomorrow mom will bake 
a cake. The action is the word bake. Oh, let me notice. I noticed something. Bake and cake are rhyming words. Okay. Anyways, so the word bake, does it have ed? Is it in the past? No. Does it have the word will in front of it? Yes. So, I'm also going to look here. It says tomorrow. Tomorrow has not happened yet because that is in the future. So, this is a future tense sentence. Number three, it says she respects her teacher. So, does it have, oh, what is the verb? Let's see. She respects her teacher. I see pronoun, pronoun, noun. This is the verb, respects. <clears throat> so, does it have the word ed? No. Does it have the word will in front of it? No. So is this something happening right now in the present? I think so. So respect. Respects is a present tense word. So this sentence is in the present tense. Number four, we picked up trash pronoun. And then we have a noun here. So picked is something you can do. Picked up is something you can do. So let's see, does it have an ED? Oh, it does. So when it has ED, it's in the past. So this word is in the past tense. This sentence is being spoken in the past tense. Number five, the kids will sing tomorrow. So again, the past would have an ED. The present would be left alone with no change, and the future would have the word will in front of it. The kids will sing tomorrow. It has will, so it's the present. So we got those all right. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this part here. So it says verbs. The task is write the correct form of the verb. Students may use whiteboards, journals, or read aloud the answers. So whatever you have available, if you have the whiteboard and a dry erase marker, do that. If you have a journal and a, I mean a blank piece of paper and a pencil, write the word or you can read it out loud if you don't have any of those tools with you. Remember to always pause, that way you guys can have time to write out the entire sentence, okay? So number one, it says, in second grade, we, hmm, about plants. So we need to think, what makes more sense? In second grade, that's the future. So do we say in second grade we learned about plants or do we say in second grade we will learn about plants? You need to ask yourself, is this the past, the present, or the future? Write out this sentence, pause the video so that you guys can write it down. All right, let's move on to number two. If you're done with number one, if not, again, pause the video until you're done and ready to move on to number two. I'm not going to show the answers until the end. <laughs> Number two, last week we hmm about shapes. So would we write last week we talk about shapes or do I say last week we talked about shapes? What sounds the best? You need to think, is last week in the past? Is last week right now in the present? Or is last week in the future? If it's in the past, we use ED. If it's in the present, we leave it as is. And if it's in the future, we add the word will in front of the verb. Pause the video so you can write out the sentence with the correct word. Number three, I like pizza or I will like pizza. I think that's the present. So do you like pizza or I will like pizza? All right, if you are done with the three sentences, maybe you can underline the word Here are the answers, friends. So we, we should have chosen for number one, uh, we will learn. For number two, we should have chose talked. And for number three, we should have chose the word like. So let's read them with the correct verb tense. Number one, in second grade, we will learn about plants. Number two, last week we talked about shapes. Or number three, I'm sorry, and number three, I like pizza. All right, friends, I will let you go. I will talk to you guys again on Monday. I think today's Friday. Is today Friday? 
I'm not even sure anymore. I'm pretty sure today's Friday. Also, friends, I have to go because I have a new puppy to take care of. So maybe I will show you guys on Dojo a picture of my new puppy. I'm still trying to figure out his name. Um, he's so cute. He kind of looks like Coco and Minnie, but he's a little bit chubbier. So I'll show you guys a picture of him later. All right, friends, I will talk to you soon. Have a great Monday. Listen to your parents. Behave.